sitting in a cafe, people were having a conversation and they didn't know who I was. And they said that I was participating in the Luma thing and they're convinced that this thing is from me. I was touched. I said nothing. You know, you can say nothing in those situations. And they were sitting and going, they were photographers and, and they were saying, dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 and it became the thing. Well, if people are saying dot, 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 and they're beginning to talk about the arena, they're beginning to talk about art, that's the whole point of my participation in the exhibition. We're talking about the beach and the moon. Other than green cheese, what do we know about the moon? We know all the things they sent to the moon that fall down. Well, everything that falls down is held together by a screw and a bolt. Dink, dink. And in between, there's a little thing called a washer in English. And we decided to make a washer. And the washer is what falls down from the sky. In reading the poems of Mistral, I began to realize that Provence, as opposed to Catania, was not about circles. It's about an ellipse. And if you go in the mayor of Arles, if you look at the ceiling, there's an ellipse. It's, it's an arc that's an ellipse. And they never can find which is the keystone. So I made it into an ellipse instead of a circle. It's all really rather simple. En français et en anglais. And it's really Et puis, négligé comme punt, punt, punt. And uh, c'est le projet. The point of art is detritus. And my concept for this exhibition and the concept that I've been working on is detritus. Detritus is, in fact, the little pieces of uh, stone left after two big stones rub against each other. It also means those things left behind from sharpening a pencil to doing other things. And maybe the role of the artist has changed in the last 25 years. They've spent all of their time talking about the market. The market has nothing to do with it. The reason for the existence of artists is they have an engagement with the society in the open. They do it in public. And in doing it in public, that engagement is the value. What comes out of it, it, it could be you know, a Richter, it could be a Twanli, it could be anything. That's detritus, that's left over. It has, a, it has a use because it reminds people of the interaction. But in fact, the real value of the existence of an artist is that moment when they engage with the society in public. <laughs> <laughs> but we had to make these in such a manner that when they are lying on the stone in the arena, you don't notice them until you walk past it and you pick it up. And then you take it home and you try to figure out what it's about. It's not a mystery. It's something that nobody told you what to do with. But art is supposed to be something that nobody knows what to do with. <laughs> Art is this thing that floats and it tries to find a place where it belongs. And in trying to find it, it bangs against the wall, it bangs against the bâtiment, it bangs against things. And that's its function. The minute it finds a place that now, okay, this is a way to understand logically something. It's a history, you learn from it, but it's not art anymore. Art is when it's still searching to, to find a, a, a reason for existence. Art is essentially adolescent most of its time. You know it has a value, you know it has a meaning, but you can't quite place what it is, very much like a young person. And then it has a, a use, it enters the society, and it, it does whatever the hell people do when they enter the society. God knows what that is. <laughs> I'm trying to be a tabla rasa. I understand that I know the work of the people that, that are my colleagues in the show, but at the same time as a tabla rasa, I, I can go in and each thing must engage me. 
And I, of course, am not going to be engaged in what engaged the person who's making it. I have other thoughts. And being in the arena for today, that's almost like social service. <laughs> you have more dirt in your nose and, and, and the sun after a while. <laughs> uh, it's worth it. But I don't know what it's worth. <laughs> it's worth it, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> One more for me. Oh, I must get one. Yeah, mom. Here, <laughs> The point is, human beings invariably build a structure. We're not bees. We don't just follow and go and swarm. We build a structure that other people can enter. If you become academic, you build a structure that nobody can enter. And that's the difference. But the social contract, you make art for other people. There is no other reason to make it. My work, my life, has been to make a specific object that doesn't have a specific form, so it can move from one culture to the other without being exotic. And nobody's take, nobody's reading of the work is better than anybody else's because they engage it into a logic pattern in their life.